is uh, 18. Yeah, good. Dispersing, but not maturing. It's like pseudo maturation, right? It looks like it's trickling at the bottom, which is good, but the cells are the same size at the top and the bottom. Very good. So what do you think is going on here? Very good. Metastatic melanoma. And you're right. In some areas, if you don't see pigment, I mean, breast cancer could look like this, for example, right? Like lobular breast carcinoma. Um, but once we start getting nice nests and melanin pigment, we could feel, you know, pretty confident these are melanocytes. But if there's any doubt, I, you know, do a stain because you're about to give someone a stage three or stage four melanoma, depending on the clinical context, right? Sometimes, uh, so this is a, a, when you get a nodule of melanoma in the dermis, um, and, they, and they often push up towards the epidermis like this, and sometimes can even get like a collarette almost, which you're kind of starting to see here. That is good for a metastasis of melanoma. It could be a metastasis from a distant site, or this could represent a satellite lesion or an in-transit metastasis somewhere between the primary melanoma and the lymph node. You have to know, based on this, I have to know when and where did they have the melanoma to know is this a distant met or a satellite or an in-transit, um, and uh, that, that will depending on the answer to that, it will affect the staging. So you have to have some clinical info to tell those apart. Um, the, I think the one other thing you could consider here would be a, a nevoid melanoma because it kind of has pseudo maturation. Usually a nevoid melanoma will have melanoma in situ component with it though. Um, and even though uh, metastatic melanomas are in the dermis, sometimes they can trickle into the epidermis and mimic melanoma in situ. And those cases can be really hard to tell apart from a primary melanoma. Um, it can be uh, tricky, but I do think that they often still retain this kind of nodular, kind of ball-like shape. Um, and then also clinical history can be helpful. Luckily here, when we go to high power, I feel it's the true of uh, metastatic melanoma, but also nevoid melanomas that at high power, uh, even though the cells might look a little nevoid from low power, these are very atypical up close. Huge nucleoli, pleomorphism, <clears throat> mitosis. So, and then when we go down to the deep, even the things that looked like they wanted to mature, nah, they look bad, just like the ones at the top. So I find that helpful for nevoid melanomas also, that you've got atypical cells and they're atypical all the way down in general. So that can be helpful. And uh, the clinical history, of course, being very important. So this metastatic melanoma, and then also look, another clue, lymphovascular invasion here with an, a little additional little tiny focus of metastasis in the dermis and one probably inside a lymphatic, or this could be right next to a lymphatic actually, because it could be an endothelial cell there. I'm not sure, but uh, it actually could be outside the lymphatic, but metastatic melanoma. 